hello good morning welcome back to my channel this is hbm organic beauty so i made a cream yesterday night and the ph um level was very very low it was 3.4 so that means it's very very acidic it's actually a whitening cream so at 3.4 when you make use of that cream oh my god it will burn you you will get all kind of skin irritations so i had to leave the cream this morning so that i will i will have to balance the ph level before i package so i just want to show you guys how you can uh, how you can i just want to show you how you can um, raise up your ph level up to the normal 4.5 to 5.5 at least that is safe for your skin so let's start so guys um i'll i'll be making a solution that i'll use to raise up the ph level of the cream i made it's very very low it cannot be applied on the skin that way i'm making use of my lye and i'm making use of my distilled water so in here i have 90 gram of my distilled water i have actually measured out my 90 gram of my distilled water then um here i have my 10 gram of my um light solution so i'm making 10 percent i'm making 10 percent light solution that i use to raise up the ph level of my cream now if i'm bringing down the ph level of my cream i'll do that with my citric acid i'll be adding gradually until i see that my ph level is balanced but in this case i'm bringing it up and bringing it up is harder than taking it low bringing it down so what i'll be doing now is that here is my my distilled water I'll be adding my lye into the water. You don't add water into lye. It will explode. Yeah, everywhere. It, it will just explode. So what I'll be doing is I'll be adding my lye into my water. And when doing this, you have to ensure you're putting on a nose mask and hand glove. What we're doing now is for us to add in our lye into our, our water. Please pardon me if my voice is somehow low. I'm covering my nose because I don't want to come and die here. And if you're doing this, make sure you leave your window open. Stay in a place where there's ventilation. So I'll be adding my light into the water gradually. I hope you can see. Or better still, let me... Okay, no, I don't want to spoil my skill. Gradually. I'm adding the light into the water. You have to be careful so that this thing will not land on your body. Normally, you're supposed to put on, if you have long sleeve shirt, you put on long sleeve shirt. Don't do this where there's kids, where your kids are. It's very, very hot. So I've added in my my lye into my water. Right now it's very very hot. So you have to leave this to to cool down before you use it. So I'll be leaving this to cool down before I make use of this. So I'll be waiting for some time so I to cool down. Cause right now it's very very hot. So after it has cooled down, then I'll make use of it to raise the pH of my cream so guys I lost the clip where I filmed how I was adding my light solution into my cream so as to bring up the pH level but it's no big deal I'll be telling you how I achieved that after I've made my light solution I allowed it to get cool then after it gets cooled I was taking the light solution gradually bit by bit with my dropper yeah i i started taking um like two mil two mil of my light solution and i added into my lotion so after adding i had to stir it then check again with my ph level 
but what i did is that after adding the first light solution the 200 mil the ph level was still very low so i had to take for second time that was why i said you have to take this bit by bit i had to take three mil and add it into my lotion then i stare and i had to wash this again because you know after using it for the first time you notice of uh, the old lotion everything will be there so you might not be able to get the accurate ph level because the former one residue was still on it so i had to wash this clean and check again until i got my ph level that i was satisfied with and this is parts and this is and this little lotion here was part of the balanced ph level lotion i i made and this cream in this little cup here was just a sample of the lotion i made that was 3.4 which i'll be taking the ph level for you to see so here is my ph i've rinsed it with my distilled water here is my lotion so what i'll be doing is that i'll be adding this into my my lotion i hope you can see i don't know i don't know guys if you can see this i don't know if you can see this but it's actually i don't i don't just know how to place it but i know it's 4.6 yeah i got 4.6 7 4.6 yesterday so i got 4.7 4.6 and it's still at the same ph level 4.6 i don't really know how to place this for you guys to see you know but it's it's 4.6 that's here 0.6 it's 4.6 so this 4.6 it's normal to the skin because the normal ph level should be 4.5 to 5.5 so this will not irritate my client's skin this will not irritate my client's skin it's very very safe for my clients she's good to go it's just a test i just made a test with this so she's good to go with this 4.6 yeah she's good to go with this 4.6 so next i'll be trying my lips um i'll be trying my ph indicator paper yeah i'll be trying this because i i like taking the ph level with two different ph indicators so i have to be sure so i'll be taking it with my ph paper So I'll be taking out one sheet. So here's my pH paper. I hope you can see this, guys. So here's my pH paper. I want to take the pH level with my paper. My pH paper. So can you see guys? Can you see? Can you see? It's still yellow, but it's slightly different from the the side. The color of this side is slightly different from the color of the side. So I'll be checking it. Now on this pH indicator paper. You know, I said 4.5 to 5.5. You know, I said 4.5 to 5.5 is the normal pH level for your skin, especially when it comes to your lotion, 
your face cream i'm not talking of uh, your black soap the ph level of your black soap might be seven fine it is a wash of products and that does not mean that you cannot use it you can use it then you balance your the ph level of your then you can balance the ph level of your face with your toner but that does not mean you cannot use the black soap even if you make a soap and the ph level is at is at seven yes you're good to go it is a wash of product and you use you can use your toner to balance the ph level on your face so you cannot get irritated so back to what i was saying you can see the color so what color is this we have to look the color of this we have to find the color of this on this chart here and if you look very well you see that those color match matches with color five here yeah my camera is not focusing but sorry you can see the color matches with color five so the ph level of this cream is balanced the cream is good to go it's safe this is just a test i am not making use of this it's just i'm using it for a test so the ph level of the lotion i made is safe good to go yeah good to go this is still at 4.6 can you see guys just it's 4.6 even though it's not that clear it's 4.6 then this the color here this color i'm not talking of this side i'm talking of this cool yellowish this cool yellow part is the same color as is the same color as color five yeah color five is the same color as color five can you see color five yeah, it's the same color as color five so guys that is it so if you want to balance up the ph level of your lotion after making your lotion you make a whitening lotion you make your face cream or you make any skincare product you want to put up, put on your skin please balance the ph level of that product so you either balance the ph level of your product by making your light solution or you balance it using baking soda so guys after making your skincare product endeavor to check the ph level of your product before you apply on your skin so that you don't get irritated now two things will happen when you check the ph level of your product is it that the product is acidic or alkaline now if your product is acidic make a light solution or you use baking soda to bring the ph level up to 4.5 to 5.5 when it comes to your lotion your face cream you know you know lotion you're applying on your body 4.5 to 5.5 then when your lotion is alkaline when it has passed the acidic level the neutral level and it's alkaline from seven below yeah from seven below your lotion is from seven below please try and bring the ph level down by using your citric acid you had your citric acid bit by bit into your lotion you stare and as you're adding you're checking the ph level please add it little by little your light solution you add it little by little as you're as you're adding you're checking the ph level at the same time so what else so guys i think that's all yeah i think that's all then when you're checking the ph level of your black soap normally most of the time it's it's the ph level of your black soap might range seven yeah when it's seven seven point five yeah you're still good to go black soap on its own is very very alkaline that's why most times you see some people making black soap and they have citric acid yeah 
they are doing that just to bring down the ph level of the black soap and lactic acid also is a ph balance it balances the ph level when your ph is alkaline you can also still balance it using lactic acid yeah so what else guys i think that's all guys so if you find my video very very interesting please kindly subscribe to my channel don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be updated when i upload a new video all right guys thank you bye